Hello, I'm Darren Sidhu from Reading FC and this is my interview with Go Indonesia. Halo pembaca gol Indonesia, saya Rick Novianto. Saat ini saya sedang ber bersama dengan pemain keturunan Indonesia yang bermain di Liga Inggris, Reading FC, yaitu Darren Sido. Halo Darren, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So, how, do, how, how does you feel? How do you feel about Indonesia? Yeah, it's very nice. I've been here before, but when I was little with my parents, so I don't remember everything. But uh, now is the first time I came back when I'm a little bit older, and I have to say I like it very much. Yeah. So this is your second holiday. Uh, yeah. I've been here to Bali. Then after that I came to Jakarta, and uh, now I'm here. Have you tried uh, both Indonesian food here? Yes, yes. So I have to say uh, I have some family, of course, in Holland. So when I go to the family party, to the family visits, uh, we eat a lot of Indonesian food. So I kind of knew something, but if you eat it here, of course a little bit different because here you taste the real flavor yeah, of the yeah, food. Yeah. So I have to say it's very good. So, yeah. so what's your most favorite one? Oh, my most favorite? Yeah, there are more things. Nasi goreng I like, uh, satay I like, but also the small things like the solas I like a lot. So. Okay, Darren, so for the rest of the session, maybe after we walk around the stadium? Yeah, no problem. Then I can see, of course, the beautiful stadium, so it's good. Yeah. So, could you tell us about your Indonesian background? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, my Indonesian background is not that difficult. My, It's from my father's side. My grandfather, his both parents are from Indonesia. I think he's born in Suriname, but he's full blood Indonesian, so... Yeah, it's not so far away. So, yeah. Could you tell us about your youth life? Yeah, yeah. I've spent my whole youth in uh, in Netherlands. I first uh, started when I was younger with my older brother. He's four years older than me, and uh, he always liked football. And actually, when I was younger, I always had to go with him to his games, to his practice. And yeah, that's how I begin with football and I think from that moment I loved football straight away and first I played in the amateur level but I think yeah I was not so old. I moved to Ado Den Haag, that's a club where I live and I played there a couple of years in the youth system and then Ajax bought me from Ado Den Haag, I went to Ajax and yeah I have to say the Youth Academy of Ajax is from a very high level and I developed there as a player, as a person because for me it was a big step because it was not in my city anymore so I have to travel a lot I'm far away from home but yeah, it made me the person who I am today so it did good for me yeah. You grew up as a beautiful player so I think you, you, you have favorite football player? Do you have any? Oh yes, I have some favorite football players. Uh, of course it's a little bit different. Most of the people will say Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo because like in my opinion those are the best footballers in the world at the moment and not at the moment but in the past years as well. But for me I play in a different position. So I always look up to the players on my position and yeah, yeah at the moment that are like Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva, Fernandinho from Manchester City. Those players are I look up to. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we knew about your position in defender. You can play in many positions. Oh uh, yes. What is your preferred position? Uh, at the moment, my preferred position is uh, on the midfield. Uh, when I was younger, I started as a midfielder. I played like yeah most of the time as a midfielder. Then I moved to Ajax. Then I became a defender, a central defender in the middle. And like from this year, I am a midfielder again. And I have to say I like it because I'm a football player who likes to play with the ball, to take risk. And as a midfielder, you can do that good, I think. You can attack, but you can also defend. So, 
was your best moment in the book world? Uh, I think it was my first contact at that time. I was at Ajax when I was 17. That was for me, in my career, the most beautiful moment. Those things you remember for your whole life. I know Ezra Ferrero, and he made this step, I think, a couple of years ago. And that's when I first saw, like, okay, Indonesian football is very big, and then he uh, showed me some things. And that's I, actually how I found out about the football in Indonesia. Actually, now we have many half Dutch players in Indonesia. And would you like to join them if the opportunity comes? Yeah, that's a, a tough question. Of course, I can see in the future, but at the moment, uh, yeah, I'm focusing on my football, on my club, to, to make my name big in Europe. That's for me now the main goal because I'm still very young. But yeah, you never know what's going to happen in the future. And I think every football player, on one stage in his career, he wants to be an uh, international. And I think then you have to, to look what, what, what's going to happen. But for now, I think uh, the best thing for me is to focus on my club, do my best in Europe, and then everything will come. Yeah. Talking about playing in Europe, it is a dream of most of Indonesian players. Do you have any advice for them? Yeah, just to, yeah, it's simple, but to work hard, train hard, and I think to believe. I think if you, if you believe you can do it, you can achieve it, then if you do everything to get there, you see, I think uh, one player is already is to Europe. Yeah, Eggy, Eggy, yeah, yeah, yeah. plays sure. in Poland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's possible and if you work hard, you train hard, you give everything you have on the pitch, it's possible. And yeah, just believe. Is there any difficulties playing in Europe, maybe in the weather? Or yeah, it's, it's like culture, different. It's yeah. different from here, but the weather, I don't think that's the biggest problem. What you say, it's more the culture, I think. Some countries are a little bit different, and of course the mentality in Europe is different from Indonesia. I, I'm here now for two two weeks, and you see the mentality is different from Europe. Yeah. So I think maybe that's the biggest the biggest thing. So the mentality is the key, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So last question: What, what are your goals for in the future? For in the future, yeah. What I said to be a good player in Europe. And I wouldn't say to be the biggest player in Europe, but I have dreams and I want to be play. If I want to play in, in good clubs in Europe, and those are my goals for, for the upcoming year to, to develop myself and to be a good player in Europe. Yep. So that was the last question. Maybe you want to greet your fans in Indonesia? Yeah, of course. Uh, to all the fans in Indonesia, uh, thank you very much for supporting me in Europe. I, I see everything, I feel everything and uh, yeah, it's very nice to see all the, the messages and all the things from Indonesia, all the support. Terima kasih. Demikian wawancara kami dengan Darren Sidol. Nantikan selengkapnya di, hanya di Goal Indonesia.